All right, let's do uh, example five right here. Let's get rid of these guys. All right, for example five, um, the exponential one's always kind of different. Uh, whenever you have an e raised to a power, that 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 power inside of that power, if there's stuff happening, then that is a function. Like I see, I see a negative nine multiplying to this t. There's stuff happening there. There's a new fun function inside of this exponential function. So I'm gonna make the u equal negative 9t. All right, so let's take the derivative of both sides with respect to t. If I take the derivative of this with respect to t, I would get 1 du over dt. This is implicit differentiation, people. And then the other side, if I take the derivative of that, I just get negative 9. I multiply both sides. Well, it's like multiplying both sides uh, to dt. So I get negative 9 equals, or I'm sorry, du equals negative 9 dt. So this is what I got. Uh, these are the two things I'm going to use for my u substitution. Those are my tools. And so I go up here to my integral, and I'm going to take out that negative 9t, and I'm going to put in a u instead. But now I have a problem. I have a u, and I have a dt. I can't have a dt there. I have to have a du right there. And so I'm looking over here at my du, and du equals negative 9 dt, but there's no negative 9 up here. So we're going to have to get the dt alone. How do we get the dt alone? Divide by negative 9. So I'm going to divide this by negative 9 so that those go away, and I'm left with the dt on the right side. And then on the other side, I'm going to put negative 9, or negative 1 ninth times du instead of negative du over 9, okay? So, because um, I, I don't like doing that. I like to put the fraction out in front. Okay, so now uh, dt equals this. And so I can just, I can take out this dt and plug in that negative 1 over 9 du. And so this is what it would look like. <clears throat> I'm going to put the negative 1 ninth out in front because he's a scalar. e to the u, and now I have a du. Yay. What's the antiderivative of e to the u? Isn't that beautiful? And so I have negative 1 ninth um, times e to the u, uh, and the du is gone. Once you do the antiderivative, those things just go away. Oh man, I love taking the derivative of e to the u or the antiderivative of e to the u. It's just the same thing. All right, but we can't finish our answer with, uh, with a u. And this is not a definite integral, so I'm missing something on this. Do you guys know what I'm missing? X. Plus c. Okay, now, uh, you can't leave it as u. We want to leave it with a t, so what is u equal? What is you, man? 19. Sorry, Katie, stop making fun of me. <laughs> stop making the same joke. Well, they're so funny to me. He's a dad. What do you mean? He's a dad. What do you mean? All right, there you go, guys. There's your answer. I, pl I subbed out the U, got my negative 9T. We're done. Perfect.